Hi everyone, this is Nero, and welcome to my newest playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask was created and developed by Nintendo, published in 2000, originally for the Nintendo 64. In 2003, a promotional disc containing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda 1, and The Legend of Zelda 2 was released <laughs> for the Nintendo GameCube in order to promote the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And in 2009, a Nintendo Wii port through the Wii Virtual Console was made for Majora's Mask with finally, in 2015, a remake of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask titled The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D was published by Grizo for the Nintendo 3DS. And that is the version we will be playing today, ladies and gentlemen. So The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, what's my history with this game? Like many, when I first played this game, I played it on the GameCube through the promotional disc, which I had gotten when I got Wind Waker, because I didn't get a GameCube until 2004, which happened to be the same year that this disc, promotional disc was released in the United States. I didn't get it through Nintendo Power like how most people did. I got it secondhand from a friend. I tried out a lot of the games on there. Uh, surprisingly, didn't really finish or like any of them. In fact, I found that Majora's Mask was my least favorite one. Flash forward to around 2013, 2014, and I'm playing Majora's Mask on an emulator and my attitude completely changed. I'm going to say this right now, ladies and gentlemen. Out of all 3D Zelda games, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is my all-time favorite 3D Zelda game. And saying it's my favorite is an understatement with all the memorabilia and merchandise I have for Majora's Mask. I had a decal for my 3DS that was used on my Capture 3DS until I took it off because it was starting to peel. I have my phone case, which is actually a Majora's Mask 
custom-made phone case. I have a jacket with Majora's Mask on the back of it. I have a Majora's Mask keychain. I have a Majora's Mask wallet. That is quite literally Majora's Mask and was released for the promotion of Majora's Mask 3D. And I have already pre-ordered the first four figures Majora's Mask PVC figure that's releasing later in 2020. I love Majora's Mask. I just love it. And what is it that I love about Majora's Mask? And what changed <laughs> compared to when I was a kid? Well, when I was a kid, one thing that I was bad at, and still somewhat am, is time management. And that is what The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is. It is a time management game. But once you understand the schedules, the time management, how to go about your time in this game, then it all makes sense and it clicks to being a really good adventure. One that would put in the forefront Eiji Aonuma to being the main director and producer of future Legend of Zelda titles instead of Shigeru Miyamoto. Now, Majora's Mask was co-directed by two individuals. They are Eiji Aonuma, as mentioned previously, and Yoshiaki Koizumi, Koizumi going on later to become the producer and director of later 3D Mario games. And honestly, given the fact of the story behind the development of this game, the two of them knocked this game out of the park, to say the least. I love the world of Termina. I love the atmosphere it brings and the sense of dread. I love the characters and I mean all the characters The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask does an excellent job of creating a sense of you are involved in the lives of the people of Termina and you're the one who will help end and ease their despair I love the side quests I love the focus on the people and setting and world of Termina rather than on dungeons I love Majora's Mask, as mentioned previously. I love even the day and night cycle and time management system now, something that a lot of people didn't really like, and a lot of people still don't like, which luckily Majora's Mask 3D fixes a lot of the quality of life issues the original Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask had. Although, while I do like the original a little bit more only because I know how to maneuver it a little bit better and there's some quirks that the Majora's Mask 3D sort of tacked on that I wasn't a fan of I will still say Majora's Mask 3D is a great game and one that I recommend people pick up if they have a Nintendo 3DS especially because a cartridge of Majora's Mask can be kind of expensive Believe it or not, I still don't own an actual cartridge of Majora's Mask for the N64. I'm rectifying that soon, but I've been trying to find one that's in A, good condition, and B, decently priced. That second one is kind of uh, held off on my ability to really get that cartridge. But enough about my history with this game, because I have a quite a big history with Majora's Mask, to say the least. How will we be handling this project? Well, it wouldn't be my favorite 3D Zelda game if we weren't going for 100%, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for every heart piece in the game. We are going for all side quests completed. We are going for all upgrades, all collectibles, and all masks. Again, it wouldn't be a playthrough of Majora's Mask for me unless I did 100%. And while I'd quasi 100%ed Ocarina of Time 3D, except for the gold sculptulas. This game, I will be doing everything. I'll even do the new added in fishing mini game for the heck of it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and I welcome you all to the first 1440p project on this channel. My favorite. Legend of Zelda 3D game, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. See you all 
next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the prequel to Majora's Mask, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ocarina of Time 3D. And if you want to see one of my favorite 2D Zelda games, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds.